Bienvenidos a Bruselas, por favor sigan haciendo uso del cinturón de seguridad hasta que la señal luminosa del cinturón y se apague. Tengan precaución al abrir los compartimentos superiores ya que el equipaje de mano puede haberse desplazado. Comprueben que llevan consigo todas sus pertenencias, incluidas las alojadas en el bolsillo delantero. En after 14 horas de traveling y una conexión en Madrid, yo soy arrivé a Bruselas. Ahora voy a tomar un Uber al aeropuerto. We'll find something to eat because it's six o'clock in the afternoon here, which is 1 p.m. in Miami time, and I'm starving. This is the view from my hotel room. I got here. I'm just waiting a little bit to get uh, my phone charged because there's nothing, nothing to eat here. Just have a few coffee and water. The hotel room is pretty nice, it's pretty cool, pretty comfortable. It's a little bit cold here. I don't know if I can. And I'll take a shower just to take off the, just to take off the airport mojo and the coronavirus thing. And then I'm going to uh, go out to see if I can eat because as I told you, there's a lot of restaurants there. That's good. As I told you right now, it's like 2 p.m. in Miami time. So I'm starving, very hungry. The purpose of my visit here is to talk, to have a meeting with a person that contacted a partner, a business associate that I have back in Brazil. And this person was calling him, this, this associate of mine, looking for opportunities to invest in Brazil. And he said that economy in Brazil wasn't very good, so he suggested this guy contacted me with opportunities in the USA. So I talked to this person two weeks ago or three weeks ago over the phone. It was a very brief conversation about things that he wanted, maybe invest in construction, maybe invest in uh, real estate that generates cash flow. That's what we are about to uh, do tomorrow to discuss everything that he wants to know about investing in the USA, the opportunities that he might get there. But I came here because he didn't want to speak over the phone and I understand. Sometimes this kind of a client, sometimes the kind of investor requires a face-to-face -face meeting because they want to know with whom they are dealing with. After all, we're not talking about a small amount of money that they are going to invest there. So since I was coming to Europe, I have been saying for the last two years that I want to do business here. And two weeks ago also, someone from Portugal called me because they wanted to buy a property in the USA because they are moving there. So I took this chance to come also, not only to Brussels, but to go to Portugal, to talk to those people also that want to buy a property there, but also to understand a little bit more of the market in Portugal and see if there's any opportunity for me to develop something there. In the end, the person that called me wanted to buy a, a house there, a property there. They won't, the couple won't be able to uh, receive me or to have a meeting with me because they are traveling. But nevertheless, I'm going to take two days in Lisbon or in Portugal to understand the market, specifically in Lisbon and in the south, which is a more touristic area. Man, this lighting here in the bathroom very good. I need something like this in my office back home. I see the difference. Now I see why all the makeup YouTubers look so bright in their videos. Mm -hmm. 